Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to House of Eric. I'm Eric, if you're new here, welcome. Like, comment, subscribe if you love all things beauty. I welcome you to my familia. We are an all-inclusive family. We don't discriminate here. This channel is all about beauty, hair, and all things positivity because we don't fuck with the negative people, all right? I'm so happy you guys are here. This is Pride Month and I'm super excited. Shout out to my LGBTQI community. Shout out to my Triple Gs. You already know my gays, my guys, and my girls. There's something for all of you on this channel, and I'm so glad you're here. If you are one of my returning subscribers, te quiero mucho con todo mi corazón. I love you with all my heart. Thanks so much for your guys' support. Honestly, it makes me so excited that you guys are liking my videos and to make these. I literally get excited to make these, so let's get right into it. If you like beauty, if you like positivity, if you like looking good, if you like feeling good, then hit that like button, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you can be uploaded of all my future uploads. I upload twice a week, once about my life. Literally, I do not edit it. It is completely raw. And uh, once a week about beauty and hair. I'm a licensed cosmetologist for those of you that are new. And let's shut the fuck up and get started. So I'm super excited. I have a couple new products for you guys, but let's jump in. So we are going to be look, doing a look today with the Profusion Desert Sage Palette. For those of you who are new here, I live in Arizona. It is hot as... And, like, everything sweats off your face. But I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, I have used it before, but it's still new to me. This is the Desert Sage Palette. Look at this beautiful color story. It's very, very Arizona. We have some warm browns. We have some cool. We have, of course, the yellows, because the sun is shining, like, all day long. So we're just going to go in for a simple, easy eye look. Um, very summer look. And check out the foundation that I have for you guys. I'm going to talk about it right now. But you guys, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be using another brow pencil. If you have a recommendation, comment down below. I'll buy it and try it and test it out for you guys. But this is amazing. This is the Shop Miss A Slim Brow. This literally retails for $1.55. And I did my brows just very natural today. I always do the brows off camera. If you do want me to do them on camera, let me know. But let me shut the bleep up and let's get started. So... I'm just gonna do something very easy today. I wanted to do something um, kind of neutral, kind of um, brownie, cools, warms, we'll work with it. So I'm gonna go in and start with this kind of uh, taupe kind of tan meets almost, um, sorry, there's a lot of fallout cream palette, but it is Profusion. Profusion is an affordable brand. I got this at Walmart. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna try my best not to cover my face. And I'm going to go in and just start with that transition shade. And I'm just going to use Windshield Wiper Motions. On, in person, it actually translates almost like a light yellow, which is interesting. I was not expecting that. And then when I'm going out to my outer tear duct, which is basically outer corner, I'm going to just do little circular soft motions. The focus today, of course, is not really the eyeshadow. It's going to be this foundation. I've been waiting to try it for you guys. And I'm super excited to see what you guys think of it. What have you guys been up to? I hope you guys had a good past weekend. I hope you're having a good day. I'm just doing the same to the left eye and mirroring it. Remember, we're going for sisters, not twins. All right, all right, guys, next I'm gonna go in. By the way, that was a BH Cosmetic Brush. It's called the Pointed Crease Brush. I like to get use a little detailed brush just to get into my inner corner, or excuse me, my, um, where my eyelid, what the hell is this called? I'm blanking. But right here, just my crease. There you go. Sorry. Did not have enough coffee today. This is the Morphe M64. And I'm going to use this, and we're going to go into this kind of warmy, ready brownie. It's like a, like a, very much like an Arizona July sunset color. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna tap that. I'm gonna dust a little bit of the excess off. I'm gonna start this only on my outer corner. And this is just gonna be kind of like our, hey, let's give my outer corner some depth. 
Let's keep it very neutral, very summery, because I wanna do a pop of color for the lip. I got a little something in store for you guys. Um, so let's talk like story time right now while we're getting ready. So I really wanted to address depression and anxiety and really give a shout out to my, to all of you guys, but specifically people who struggle with it. Um, I actually struggled a lot with mental health. Um, it's down now 100%. I got my mental health under control, but it's such a taboo topic. Taboo or taboo? How do you say it? Let me know in the comments down below. It's such a taboo, taboo, that sounds so weird. Okay, topic. And it's not something that is talked about a lot. You know what I mean? And I think we need to end that stigma because if we can talk about physical, physical health all the time, why can't we talk about mental health? Like what, people are gonna think you're crazy? Ooh, who gives a fuck? Like seriously, I mean, I struggled a lot uh, for like an extended amount of time actually with depression and anxiety. And finally I was able to kind of break free and, the part when I break free. and really just start to really love myself and get my confidence back. Of course, you know, I did see a licensed um, psychiatrist and it was with medication management, but I want you to know that you're not alone, honestly, because it's something that a lot of Americans, a lot of people around the world struggle with and do not be embarrassed, especially if you feel you're different, if you feel you're, you just don't fit in, if any of that stuff, who cares? Be yourself. I'm here to tell you that I love you no matter what, and you're not alone. I have been there and I've kind of felt that way my whole life, but guess what? That's what makes you special and that's what makes you stand out. Who wants to be basic? We don't do basic around here, okay? Be yourself and be authentically you. Honestly, I strive for that and I mean that shit. You guys know I'm a sarcastic bitch and I love it, but this is serious and I really wanted to address mental health, um, especially, you know, a lot, it happens a lot with the gay community as well since we're talking about Pride Month where, you know, they just feel like they don't fit in and, you know, it ends up a lot of people in my community, the LGBTQI community, we lose a lot of people to suicide. And you know, it's something that I dealt with. I had suicidal ideation in the past and it's a very serious subject. And I want you to know that you're not alone. And if you wanna talk about it, like I'm not a licensed psychiatrist, I'm not a licensed therapist at all. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I've been there and I've struggled with it for many years and I've overcame it. So you can too, okay? And I want you to know, be yourself, who cares, all right? Like, obviously I take mental health very seriously um, and I want you to know there is help out there and don't worry about what other people think because in the end, I say it this way, are they, I'll keep it PG, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it real. Are they fucking you? Are they feeding you? Are they financing you? If you answered no to one of those three questions, you should say, fuck off, this is my life, I'm gonna get help, I'm gonna do what I feel is right, and I'm gonna be authentically me. And if you have a problem with that, kick rocks, seriously. All right guys, I'm talking a lot, but that's a serious subject to me and it means a lot to me. So I want you to know you're not alone. If you're going through hard times in life that are not mental health, know that I'm here for you. We all have a journey, we all have a path. And in the end, I promise you it's gonna be okay. All right guys, back to the makeup. I just went in with this shade. It's kind of like a light pastel yellow, just something super easy, super cool. I'm not trying to do really dramatic on the eyes because the star of the show is going to be this. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It retails for $49. Mind you, I do love drugstore makeup, but when I saw the claims and I saw the reviews on this, and NARS is an amazing brand. If I could choose one expensive brand to use for the rest of my life, Bible, it would be NARS Cosmetics. They are the chef's kiss of makeup, in my opinion. I haven't really seen anything that's really matched it, and that's just my opinion. Um, what do you guys think? Have you tried any NARS products? But once again, this comes in 36 different shades. This is um, 
a light reflecting foundation that's supposed to give a medium to buildable coverage. And it's supposed to literally do what it says. It has light reflecting, reflecting, light reflecting pigments that kind of give you that sun-kissed, natural, kind of dewy, but not too dewy look. And it's great for the summer. It's great all year round, to be honest, depending on how you use it. And you can even sheer this out by using minimal product as opposed to doing the full medium look. So this could be good for my natural viewers. This could be good for that everyday look. This could even be good for, well, it would really be good for photography and weddings. I mean, the sky's really the limit with this foundation and it has skincare infused. And 93% of people saw improvement in their skin within a six week period. So this has great skincare benefits. Um, what else? Let's see. It improves the skin radiance by 61% and this is instantly. We're going to test that. It also, what else does it do? She does a lot. Um, okay, here. It says, see your skin in the best light, light reflecting foundation. Instantly diffuses the light to blur imperfections and smooth the look of the skin powered by skincare ingredients. This product strengthens skin's barrier to maintain moisture day by day. This formula visibly improves skin clarity even after makeup is removed. That's a huge claim. And it's a medium billable coverage, natural finish, breathable all day wear. We are gonna put NARS Cosmetics to the test and see if it lives up to its name. I am all about including everybody in the spectrum, everybody of race, everybody of color, especially when it comes to makeup in the color line. So 36 shades is absolutely impressive from the lightest to the darkest, I've seen it. I will leave all of the products I'm using in the link below, so feel free to shop. Um, but yeah, NARS is great. They've always been great with their color selection and we cannot leave out people. This is 2022. I need the lightest to the mediumest, to the darkest, to the darkest, deepest, and I need all kinds of undertones for all types of skin care. Once again, if I said, if I ever started a makeup company, mm -hmm, uh, that would be my number one thing. I'm talking to the lightest, to the blackest, to the brownest, to the purplest, anything. You know what I mean? Um, let me zoop. All right, guys, so this does say shake well. So, of course, I always do that, especially you can tell it's a more liquidy product when you hear it. Let's see if you can hear it. ASMR. Um, of course, the packaging is amazing. NARS is absolutely stunning. Glass, very thick packaging. Um, we have a matte black kind of top, cute little square bottle, and, of course, a pump. All of Narcissus pumps, if you notice, um, are the same, except on the soft matte foundation, but I love it because they're you can lock it into place, which is amazing. Of course, you guys already know, it is stained like this, but I swear I just washed it. I'm gonna be using my foundation palette for optimal cleanliness. It's just something that I was trained into. Um, I'm gonna start with, I did three pumps. And should we use a brush? Let's do a brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other. So uh, this is dirty just because I did use uh, my LA Girl, uh, what was it? I used my LA Girl Pro Conceal. If you guys watched my last video, you guys know um, it's my video, how to cover dark eye circles. I use this. Um, you can find it in my drugstore makeup playlist down below. But I use this and I used it to cover my, um, here, I'll show you real quick. I used it to cover my darkness of my beard because I was in the shower and I forgot to bring my razor in and sometimes you just get so lazy. I didn't want to get back out and I just cleaned my whole fucking apartment today. I didn't want to get back out, make a mess and find the razor. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put makeup to the test and cover it with a color corrector. Um, back to this. So let's start off with a foundation brush and I'm using my AOA Studio High Definition Flat Kabuki F1 brush. If you guys watched my last video, you already know I'm obsessed with this brush. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to dab it. And we're going to start right here, working our way out. This is in the color, by the way, Fiji Light 5. The reason I got this is my skin has yellow olive undertones. And I, since this is such an uh, expensive foundation, I didn't want to buy something too light to match my skin tone because we're going into summer. And in Arizona, no matter what SPF, you could use SPF 100, you're going to get tan. Period. It's inevitable. So it is that hot here. Like, look up how hot it is in Arizona and you will be flabbergasted. So I wanted to get something darker because when I get more tan, I'm going to be mad that I just wasted 
$49 on a foundation that I can't even wear anymore. And when it comes to expensive foundations, I don't like really mixing form, mixing things to make it lighter or to make it darker unless it's the same foundation. Does that make sense? Because it has such good quality ingredients. I don't want to damage or interfere with those ingredients unless it's the same brand. And to buy two of these would be basically $100. And girl, right now, that's not on my budget. Anywho, um, let's go in. I'm doing half of the face. Okay, right away, I can tell you this went on effortlessly. And of course, you get your ears, you blend in. I'm getting right under the eyes. This Kabuki brush does it all, by the way. It is so beautiful. Applies the foundation so beautifully. What do we think? Let me make sure I'm not missing anything because my ass talks a lot. You guys, I'm like shook. Okay, let me see in the mirror. I have a mirror right behind this, but foundation. No foundation. Foundation. No foundation. What do we think? She's pretty. I just did a very light layer because I'm not going anywhere today. Today's a day full of homework. I've been studying all day, but I'm like, you know what? I got to feed my amazing family and I got to upload a video. One, because I love it. And two, because I was like dying to film for you guys. So I'm going to do the same amount. This is very liquidy. I'm going to do the same amount on a beauty blender. And I'm going to take the clean side that I didn't use my color corrector. And I'm just going to dip in. And I'm just going to go to town. So let's see what applies better. Okay, this is really pretty, you guys. Oh, my God. You guys, it's going on super pretty. Get that ear. Never forget the ear. It's like a must, you guys. If you learn anything from my channel, which you will learn a lot. But never forget the ear. Don't be that bitch. Get your ear. Blend down. Especially if we're doing a color for the summer and you're not quite there yet color-wise. You don't want to get clocked. We're not going to let those haters clock us, honey. Uh-uh. We got other shit to do than to worry about haters clocking us. So we're going to get that ear. We're going down. Even places you don't think can be seen. When people look at you from the back, they're judging you. So don't let them judge your makeup. Like, come on. Let them judge anything else. But not that. Okay, so I'm very impressed, you guys. As I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera, this is very, very skin-like. I don't feel like I have any foundation on, literally. I don't even feel like I have moisturizers that are heavier than this for my face. I don't feel like I have anything on. It is very pretty. I could build it up, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just not in the mood. I don't know, but if... You know what? Ugh, I gotta test it. It says it's full coverage, so... Let's test it. Why not? This this is the whole point, right? So I'm actually going to go back with the brush. I normally, I do this for you guys with the Beauty Blender, but me, I'm kind of an all brush type of girl. Um, I really enjoy brushes. It's more of a, it's more of like a painter's type of mentality for me. I just really enjoy it. So I'm going to go in here. Let's see if she builds. Oh yeah, she's building. I really just want to test all the claims. I do see radiance immediately. I do feel like my skin just looks very healthy, not too glowy to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm like a grease ball. Like I just dumped in like McDonald's french fries, but almost to the point where I'm like, hey, like look at me. I just got back from Montecito and I just got that sun. And yes, this foundation is, abs I mean, no, this is not foundation. This is my skin. Like I'm going and feeling that kind of vibe. She's giving me everything that I thought she would, and I wouldn't expect anything less. One, for a $49 foundation. Two, from NARS Cosmetics. So I'm very, very impressed, of course. And I knew I was going to be. I love NARS, like I said earlier. But if, I want, if I'm going to test something out on my YouTube channel, on House of Eric, and I'm going to recommend it, it's probably going to be something that I know is fucking legit. I would never lead you guys wrong or tell you to spend money on something that one, maybe it's not in your budget, and two, is definitely not good. But this, honey, this is giving, and she's she's gorgeous. She built it. We're at a high medium, almost full coverage, but I'm not gonna waste any more because she's expensive. But yeah, she definitely built it nicely. I feel not airbrushed, but airbrushed. Okay, you guys, I, I got my mirror up close, uh, my Desert Sage palette. But this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, 
honestly, I can tell it's gonna be a staple right away. Um, as far as the skincare benefits go, I would have to use it and I will update you guys at a later time on it. I'll put it in my notes to see if it really did improve my skin. But right away, it just, first of all, when I got closer to using this mirror, it is full coverage. Um, after I built it, of course, remember we went in twice. I prefer the finish of a brush, but I do like to smooth it out just a little with the Beauty Blender. Oh my God, you guys, I honestly, I can't stop looking in the mirror, but I need to stop because if not, this video is going to go forever. Um, I'll do my final thoughts at the end, but all right, guys, I'm back and I got to try this. We're going to be trying this out together. Once again, I'll have everything linked down below. This is drugstore, but it's by Profusion and I saw great things about this. I believe it's $2.94 at Walmart. Once again, they'll have all pricings and listing of everything I use down below. This is the Profusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush. If you've seen my YouTube shorts, I upload YouTube shorts daily, except on the days that I upload my videos. So this is beautiful. This is like a light pink color. I really wanted just something very baby pink, very like, look at me, but don't look at me if you catch my drift. Um, very like, oh my God, did you just say I'm beautiful blush? Like that kind of moment. So let's see how she goes. Like I said, she's very light, um, but you know, we, we, we like that. We, we appreciate that. I'm actually gonna blend this with, what side is clean? Let me see. We're gonna do this and I'm gonna lightly tap because I don't want the Beauty Blender to absorb a lot of the product, especially since this is such a light color. It's not gonna translate or show up on the skin if I'm like, pop, 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 like, Poof. you know what I mean? So I'm doing very light tapping motions. I'm also placing this right above the contour just to seamlessly blend them in together and to kind of give it that like bologna and like cheese type of, type of bond, if you will. Or no, that's not really, a, is that a bond? Or maybe like, wait, bologna and cheese, is that a bond? Wait, what goes with bologna cheese, right? Or like, how about hot dog and like hamburger? No, those are opposites. I don't fucking know. You get what I'm saying? Like a relationship, but not a platonic relation. I don't fucking know. But what are you saying, Eric? Like, shut up. Okay, but here's the blush. She's pretty. Oh my gosh, she is pretty. Let me look in the mirror real quick. Yeah, I like it. She's very light. She's flush. She's like, oh my God, did you just say I'm gorgeous? Stop it. So are you. Like that. Like that moment. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. I like it. Very summery. Very pastel-y. Very like bitch. Pretty in pink. Very giving Julia Roberts. Like, what's that movie called? Fuck. Tobias, what's that movie called? Insert it here. Pretty in Pink? I think it is. Um, yeah, she's very pretty. I like her. Don't forget the nose for that natural Hi, I just went to the beach. Even though I live in Arizona, I swear there's a beach here type of look. And you know what I've been enjoying too, really quick? Since we're doing like natural burnt, or I don't, burnt, that sounds awful. Natural tan, or natural, no, not tan, natural sun kiss. I'm gonna put it right at the forehead, right where the sun would literally hit your face. Oh my God, she's good. I love it, guys. I do love it. And she's $2.94, like, come on. Do you need a better deal than that? All right, you guys, I just added this highlight. Where the hell did I put it? <laughs> where are you? Oh, okay. This is by Malibu Glitz. This is a liquid highlighter. It's a shimmering skin perfecter. I just put it right here above the apple of my cheek, a little on the cupid's bow and a little bit on the nose. Let me grab my mirror, hold on. Cause I didn't even see what I was doing when I put this on. Okay, she's pretty, but what I don't like about this already, <sighs> I guess everything can't be perfect, right? Yeah. Oh my God, did I just fuck this up? What I don't like about it, it's a clear line of demarcation and it's like, boom. I'm sorry, you got to go. She's gotta go, she's got to go. It's not, don't get this already. And I didn't even use it. She's gotta go. Come on, NARS light reflecting, please help. I didn't, but I did No, I didn't. I didn't even let it sit. And I didn't powder my face. I did liquid upon liquid, which should mesh well. But no, honey, like she's not meshing. She's giving me like, hi, I just fucking slapped my face with like a blue icy from like 
Circle K. Um, shout out. Anyways, guys, okay, I hope that fixed it. Okay, it did fix it a little bit. Ooh, I actually like it with foundation over. Can we see? Kind of still giving glow. I'll shut up and do my final thoughts at the end. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I did my lashes off camera. I did give a little black guy right there, but I'm gonna clean it off. So if you ever make a mistake like I did and it's black right here, maybe black right here, wait till she dries, clean her off with a Q-tip. If not, you're gonna be a black mess. I did my eyeliner, it's from Shop Miss A. It is the Artista Eye Liquid Pen. I do not recommend this, she bleeds, she is not waterproof. Um, and now I'm gonna set the face. I also went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter just to give us that pink moment. And now we're gonna go in with the Shop Miss A setting spray. This locks in makeup. It says long lasting, fresh scent, and lightweight. Also, I went in with my favorite natural lashes by Shop Miss A. These are unbeatable, you guys. They're five dollars and eighty cents. You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve lashes. Look how pretty they are. Don't mind the black right there. Look, they are absolutely gorgeous. Like, come on, can you get a better deal? So let's set her. And when I set my makeup, I don't know about you, but I've noticed when I drown my face in the setting spray, regardless of what I'm using, not only are you gonna get a better effect in terms of the, the product use and how it performs when it says long lasting, you really just don't wanna spritz like, ooh, 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 like what's the point? You're not really getting all of the benefits of the of the setting spray. So I make sure my face is saturated, not dripping, but saturated. Um, just to ensure that I'm locking in all of those powders we just did so we're not, one, not looking like a powdery fucking cake cup mess. Cake cup, what is wrong with, am I dyslexic? I think I'm dyslexic too. Cup cake mess, but we're looking like, okay, let's melt this all together. We just did all this hard work. Now we wanna seal the deal. Oh my God. That was good. We want to seal the deal and just give a chef's kiss to all of our hard artwork we just did. And yeah, what I normally do, maybe I'll do it for you guys next time. Let me know if you want. I usually take my blow dryer on a cool setting and I blah, 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 I fucking blow the shit out of my face. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. The hair is done. She's giving curly goddess vibes. I'm trying not to cuss as much. Not because I care, but I know a lot of people don't cuss and I don't know, I'm trying to be like respectful. Fuck it. Um, okay, you guys, next I'm doing this. I just got this. This is from LA Colors. We're gonna test her and go with the whole pink vibe. This is the LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo, Duo Brilliant Rouge. This is in the shade Twinkle and it's so cute. I hope she's good. This is a lipstick and gloss in one. So let's test it out, you guys, and see if she's good. I'm not gonna line my lips today. One, because I don't have a liner on me, but let's see if she's pretty. I have to look into the mirror, excuse me. Oh, she's pigmented and she's pretty. I'm obsessed with these type of pinks, you guys. You have no idea. And just clean up right here. If I'm not, if I don't shut up with lips, you guys, you'll, I will be here all day. I got it on my chin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in with this foundation brush and you see how I got a little bit right here? I'm gonna clean her up. It's so hard with the lip ring to put on lipstick, guys. 
Okay, next, let's try the gloss. Um, for $1.25, I can't complain, honestly. So this is the gloss that comes with it. Oop, I didn't even get anything on here. Let's get a little bit on here. So this is cool. So $1.25, you get basically two products. Okay, but this lip gloss is not giving me shit. There's like... What the fuck? I mean, do you guys see anything? I, I guess that's why it's a dollar twenty-five. LA Colors, I do love you. If you didn't know, LA Colors is the sister brand to LA Girl, so they're gonna have great quality products. But what I can say is this applicator fucking sucks for the lip gloss. I don't feel like anything is even on my lips. Like, am I fucking tripping or? Nope, there's nothing on my lips. I thought it was going to be a lot sparklier. Yeah, it gave me a little bit of shine. Mmm. $1.25, I mean, why the fuck not? But will I repurchase it? Hell no. All right, guys, let's look. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and share this. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of today's products. So let's go over all of these. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. The social medias are going to be on the screen here. It's going to be TikTok and Instagram. I upload every day more crazy, just life stuff. And yeah, follow me on my beauty and health journey. We're going to have a blast. So let's start with the star of the show. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is mwah, chef's kiss. Absolutely stunning. The skin looks amazing. 100% recommend. Like I said, NARS Cosmetics, you did that. Highly recommend. If you're going to splurge on something, do that. Trust me. Yes, 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 yes. For $2, you cannot beat this. This is a Profusion Soft Matte Liquid Blush. I love what she did. She gave us a great base for our powder blush. And this is going to be locked and loaded all day long. You can't go wrong with that. Like, come on. Let me see. The setting spray, to be honest, I'm a little impressed. This is a dollar something. Lightweight, very lightweight. Matte finish. I wanted a matte finish because everything we went in was very cream based. And this is a radiant foundation, light reflecting. So I wanted to lock it in. I'm definitely not gonna go in with a dewy setting spray when this is a dewy foundation. All it's gonna make you do is it's gonna make your makeup slip off. It's not gonna last all day. And for those of you who have oily skin already, it's going to be very, very dewy, almost like grease ball status. And nobody wants that, okay? There's a fine line between dewy and greasy. If you want greasy, go to McDonald's and jump in the oil burner. But literally, don't jump in. It's just an expression. I do not promote violence or self-harm. But do you get it? If you want that beautiful, like, I'm fucking not greasy, I'm dewy, then you want to use products to your skin type, okay? So dry skin, maybe. You could maybe pull off going in with the light reflecting foundation and a dewy setting spray. I get that. But if you are um, oily, not a good vibe, just like I am. So just a little food for thought. Um, next, the palette. Not, not bad. Here's the eyeshadow look. I like it. She's cute. She's affordable. Once again, I'll have all prices and products linked down below along with my social media. What else did we use? Rimmel, natural, bronzer. This is literally like $2. Waterproof. I love it. I love the bronze look it gave. If you're near my shade range, even a little bit deeper, two to four shades deeper, this will work on your skin tone. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe for the price. It is not splotchy. It is not patchy. She blends beautifully. And she gave us that summer, look at me, I'm that bitch bronze look and we're all that bitch so yes 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 la colors lip duo um i love you la colors but no will i repurchase it no if you're on a budget get it um consider that i was gonna use but didn't can't tell you because i didn't use it but we'll use it in next video that's the maybelline 30 hour did not use it just want to reflect on that and for my mascara i use the aoa big boss mascara She's uh, bleeding, the package is bleeding because, I mean, it's $1.55, but this is a bomb-ass mascara. 10 out of 10, I recommend. What else? What am I missing, guys? If I'm missing something, comment down below. But, oh, liquid highlighter from Malibu Glitz. I do recommend 
And here's why. At first I didn't because she's splotchy, but if you notice now what she did when I went over the foundation, when I put this on upon all the cream, I thought it would blend good. And there are um, highlighters that do blend well, but since this is, you know, very affordable, I don't like the word cheap. I don't like saying that because I feel like it's a diss. So affordable. Um, it didn't blend. It left a big line of demarcation. It looked like I got slapped with icing which was not the vibe for today um, or ever. So what I did is when I went over it with foundation, she looked stunning. It was like that lit from within glow. So I recommend for that purpose, especially if you want a liquid highlighter at an affordable price, but I do not recommend unless you're gonna cover it with foundation. So maybe even a little bit, cause a little bit of that goes a long way as kind of like a primer for that dewy look, even going in with the foundation, mm, chef's kiss. Um, what else did I use? Malibu Glitz, I used this in my last video, 10 out of 10, highly recommend, look at that, I mean, come on, honey, she's affordable, she's pigmented, she blends, she gives, she serves, she's here for all of us, she's not just here for one skin tone, we have three of them, and it will inner, inner, um, blend together, and it will create a beautiful, seamless blush, like you saw. Guys, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the Collab Flawless Setting Powder, this is kind of a pricey setting powder, I believe it's around 15 bucks, but I do like it. And yeah, you guys, there's a lot of products here that are brand new that I didn't use, but that's cool. We'll save them for the next video. Once again, te quiero mucho a todos, mi familia. Si eres mexicano, por favor, dame una thumbs up. Si eres mexicano, te quiero. Soy mexicano también, soy latino. And subscribe, you guys. Uh, si quiere que hago una video en español, dime y te lo hago por ustedes. Viva México, te quiero mucho. Por favor, dame una thumbs up. You guys, my viewers, my English speakers, my people from India who watch me, United Kingdom, if I'm from getting any of you guys, I love you guys all. My subscribers, my OG Rider guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week for my beauty channel. Remember, stay you, be a bad bitch and never apologize for being who you are. Remember, you're on this earth for a reason and if no one else loves you, who gives a fuck? I do and so does the man or woman upstairs. Love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.